Good evening and welcome to KDK Radios, KDKA Radios. One more time, please. Okay. Right, I'm going to you, KTM's latest TV commercial. Also, well, can I, I mean, make one quick Bring the slide over about how it was made. Okay. 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 So you did get your parking changed, right? I mean, you got it mm -hmm. taken off your W-2. Mm -hmm. Howard wasn't pissy about that or anything? I was. No, but was Howard? No, good. he was feeling guilty. Oh, he was? Yeah, I said, right. are, you, are you changing this by, you know, as a matter of policy with everybody now that it's been pointed out? And he said, no, no, we're, we're uh, well, we're not. <laughs> right. And I said, you mean you're leaving? He does, too. We should tell Arthur. Nah. <clears throat> he doesn't need the money. And... Welcome to Evening Magazine from KDKA Radio's Studio K, the home of the K-Team. That's right. This is where every morning John Cigna and the K-Team get crazy behind the microphone. And you know, sometimes they can get even wilder in front of the camera. As a matter of fact, right now we're going to debut the latest K-Team TV... Now we cut the close-up on you. Oh, oh, okay. Do it quickly while this thing we'll is still running. more time, just oh. like that. Okay, ready? <coughs> it's gonna be and I'm sorry. Well no, you gotta listen. Look let go of the camera. You gotta pan over that fast in this morning. Otherwise John doesn't need to call, alright? That fast. But you're zooming while you do it. Ready? <coughs> and rolling. And I'm Good evening from KDKA Radio Studio K, the home of the K-Team. This is where every morning John Cigna and the mighty K-Team get crazy behind the microphone. But you know, sometimes they can get even wilder in front of the camera. Good. Now, zoom into John close up right away. Ready? <coughs> Three, two, one. Right now, we're going to debut the latest K-Team TV commercial and tell you the amazing story of how it was made. Good. 8.05 and the second was 8.35. Rolling. This is Nat Sound. I didn't know how long it would last. Okay, thanks. What was the time cut on that? Three, two, one. Next up, we investigate the final episode of Magnum P.I. Hold your position. A little tighter, please, Walt. A little tighter still on her face. Tilt down a bit. Good. Three, two, one. Hold on that one. Okay. Three, two, one. Next up, we investigate the final episode of Magnum P.I. Okay, there's a little camera moving in that. Do one more yeah. time. Yeah. Okay. Three, ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Next up, we investigate the final episode of Magnum P.I. Good. Five. Nice one. Uh, first, second, last. Three, ready, Walter? Yep. Three, two. Sorry, put your headphones on, please. Yeah, no, okay, ready? Three, two, one. Last season it looks like it looked like three, two, one. Last season it looked like Magnum was finished, killed off in the final episode. But Tom Selleck was coaxed back for one more season, and this Sunday is the absolute final episode of Magnum P.I. The plot is so top secret that Evening Magazine sent Mike Jarek all the way to Hawaii to snoop around for details. Good. Can I have it a little more, please? Okay. Thank you. And, uh, I, I thought that sounded more conversational. I thought that was good. Um, I just asked, let's try it one time without bringing the hands together. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Hi, Ken. Oh. Uh, do your Zoom. Okay. Stand by the Zoom, stand by the pack. Roll on the cord. Wider than that, please, Walt. Okay, good. And Zoom. Zoom today. Last season, it looked like Magnum was finished, killed off in the final episode. But Tom Selleck, I'm sorry, I brought my hands up. I can't help it. That's good. Ready to zoom? Go. I'm sorry, I'll see you. One more time, Walt. Zoom. Last season, it looked like Magnum was finished, killed off in the final episode. But Tom Selleck was coaxed back for one more season, and this Sunday is the absolutely final episode of Magnum P.I. The details are so top secret that we sent Mike Jarek all the way to Hawaii to snoop around. Good. 11.45. Hold the thing, please. Stand by, please. Rolling. Speed. Three, two, one. Well, you won't want to miss Tom Selleck's final moment on Magnum P.I. this Sunday at... Okay. Three, two, one. I'm sorry. Uh, tilt up just a bit, Walt. Good. Three, two, one. Well, you won't want to miss the final episode of Magnum P.I. this Sunday night at 9 p.m. right here on KDKA. And if you are a Tom Selleck watcher, that is, if you have any vision at all, you can still catch him every weekday afternoon here on TV2 at 4 p.m. Okay. Okay. Ready? Rolling. Tag to Magnum. Toss to break. Three, two, one. Next up, the Phantom Diner tours one of Millvale's favorite haunts. One more time, safety. Three, two, one. Next up, the Phantom Diner roams through one of Millvale's favorite haunts. Good. Time code, either one. Walt, you hold that shot. Take two steps. Right, what I got? You know what? No, hold the shot. Take two steps. Move the shot. Let me put this in back. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Eight. Do you need to come? Roll. No? Three, three, two, one. That's all coming up tomorrow. <laughs> three, two, one. All that's on tomorrow night's Evening Magazine. Right now, take a deep breath. If you're the kind of person that thinks a morning jog is tough, wait until you see Randy Reynolds. His idea of a good time is to run through streams, between trees, and over boulders. And this is something you've got to see for yourself. Real good. Want it tighter or something like that? Tighter. Okay. 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 Three, two, one. Randy told us that he had never been seriously injured in any of his high-speed romps through the woods until, that is, the day we filmed that story. On that day, our camera must have jinxed him because later in... How many times can I say day? Once more. Three, two, one. Randy told us that he had never been seriously injured during any of his high-speed romps through the woods until our camera jinxed him. Later in the very same day we filmed that story, he tripped and sprained his ankle. Okay, tripped, let's do it one more time. Tripped and sprained his ankle and a slight turn to your uh, There you go. You're left. Three, two, oops. Still rolling? Three, two, one. Randy told us that he had never been seriously injured during one of his high-speed romps through the woods until our cameras jinxed him. Later on the very day that we filmed that story, he tripped and sprained his ankle. Good. Right. Uh, 1444 for the first time. Okay. No talking so, to TV set. I've just said our cameras jinxed him and later that day, he, are we rolling? He sprained his ankle. And we certainly hope that our cameras do not have that effect. Oh, I, this is, I'm sorry, I just remembered that. Yeah. Three, two, one. And later that day, he sprained his ankle. Ooh. 
and I hope that our cameras will not have that effect on our favorite marathon runner, John no Burnett. Chance. No chance. I don't have rocks in my head like that guy does. Are you all ready, though? For I can't the wait. Big day? Yep. This is the official marathon goodie bag, and every runner gets one of these. It is filled with all kinds of things. All right. This is a KD&U um, juice pitcher. You can strap that on your belt to you take it with you. Carry it all 26 miles. Why not? This is my favorite <laughs> item. Help me hold this up. Okay. This is the Pittsburgh Marathon. Turn it around. Oh, that's very Olympic nice. trials t-shirt. Very nice. A collector's yeah. item. There's all kinds of things in here. I'm sure you'll need some of these the, the whole next bottle. morning. Yep. Um, there's some vitamins in here, some Kleenex, some coupons for things like strawberry pie, a little bit of energy for the road. Vaseline. You know, and this great bag. And there's one thing I put in here that no one else will get. Oh, good. This is a special good luck bandana from me to you. I all want you right. to wear it someplace prominent so I can pick you out of the crowd. How about right here? That sounds right fabulous. around my neck. Where are you going to be? I'll be at the corner of Fifth and Wilkins, the Peggy Mulvihill Marathon location. I'll look for you. And I'll be you. looking for you. Peel an orange for me, will you? I'll do that. And have a beer for after the race. <laughs> okay. And we hope that you're going to be with us tomorrow night. Good night, everybody. Um, that was fine. Ready, Walt? Yep. Okay. Three, two, one. In a moment, an exercise nut like you've never seen. Sorry, one more time. The three speaks again with twice as long. Doing an interview on tape. Walt, I'm getting beat. Yeah, that's the, uh, Walt, frame up, please. Okay, ready? Three, three, two, one. In a moment, an exercise not like you've never seen. Good. 1738. Recently, the Phantom Diner has been on the prowl for some of Pittsburgh's very finest neighborhood restaurants. And it looks like he's found one in Millvale. 1751. If you're, thanks, Phantom. If you're heading for Grants in Millvale, here's a tip for you. Yeah, you're okay. Try their delicious split pea soup. It's a bargain, a dollar a bowl. Yeah. Ready to go? These are 20 minute tips, right? Yeah. Okay, go. Three, two, one. Thanks, Phantom. And if you're planning on heading to Grants in Millvale, here's a tip for all of you pea fans. The Phantom says that the splits, <laughs> split pea soup. <laughs> Three, two, one. Thanks, Phantom. And if you're heading for Grants in Millvale, here's a final tip for all you pea fans. The Phantom Diner says the split pea soup is super and a real bargain at only a dollar a bowl. 1832. Uh, let's try one more time. I'd say split pea. Two. Three, two, one. Thanks, Phantom. And if you're heading for Grants in Millvale anytime soon, you might want to check out the split pea soup. The Phantom Diner says it's just super and a real bargain at only a dollar a bowl. 1852. Other than the star of the show himself, Mr. John Cigna. Boy, I tell you. Hey, Johnny, tough job. It is tough job. Good looking you know, commercial, but yeah, uh, but you didn't really do it all, right? I mean, I mean, that was, well, I mean, that was head to that was a stunt man. No, that's me. No, come I mean, on. That, you, you, your luck went flying all the way up to the clock? And who, the helicopter, the uh, uh, all of that stuff. Going over the school bus? Me? The lightning the striking school? you? It's always you. Me. And you're still here to talk about it. Well, you know, when you got it, you flaunt it. Amazing. I'm oh, doing a lot of flaunting. And, and you got it, Pat. Yep. How long did you hang up there on the arm? Too long. Oh, I bet. <laughs> now, the commercial debuts this Sunday. Right. We look for it right here on KDKA and all across the Pittsburgh viewing area. Anything big coming up for the K-Team in the uh, near future? K-Team Classic, June 6th, Pittsburgh Field Club for the Variety Club. That's hey, that's the day before my wedding anniversary. Debbie and I will spend it with you. I love it. You pay my green fee and everything, right? No. <clears throat> Thanks. Good. Good. It's a good out. Okay. Okay. Framed up, close up. Ready? Huh? Yeah. Three, two, one. John is currently running his mouth for major corporations like Galoob Toys, Minute Rice, and Micro Machines. In addition to all that, he's using that quick wit of his to help out a variety of charities. Man, who has certainly made his mark in the world of advertising. Yes, he has that. And we hope that you will all mark your calendars to join us next week for Evening Magazine. Tomorrow night we'll be preempted by the Democratic presidential debates coming from Philadelphia. As a matter of fact, our own Stacy Smith of Eyewitness News will be on the panel asking questions of the candidates, so it's something you don't want to miss. 
And you obviously don't want to miss next week's edition of Evening Magazine because uh, we got some more great stories planned for you. Take a look. Keep it rolling. Do the kiss off. It's all coming up next week. It's all coming up next week. Thanks good for watching, everybody. And, and, and good night. And just good night. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A good evening. Show close. I mean, second. kiss off. Everybody, and good evening. Okay. Three, two, one. All that's coming up next week. Thanks for watching, everybody, and good evening. Three, two, one. All that's coming up next week. Thanks for watching, everybody, and good evening. You didn't shoot from below his waist, did you? Okay. Three. Two, one. Sorry, catch John a little bit with that reflector. Go. Yeah. Three, two, one. All that's coming up next week. Thanks for watching, everybody, and good evening.